and welcome back to beautiful lone oak farm everybody not much has well a lot has changed but the view from did we leave off with this view at the very least it was a thumbnail for the last episode and it is my favorite spot my favorite view on the map so far it just looks i don't know so perfect looking out over you, you got several fields right next to you you got a creek you're right in between two little uh i mean it's kind of a little small valley here where you're in between two different tree lines and then of course looking back there that way you have the the farm and the the cow pasture so i, I don't know what it is about this view uh, views always get me and i you know what you can also see like clear back there in the corner kind of where the uh well let's uh put vorden almost in a line okay so just just there to the left of vorden you can look back in there and you see it looks like several layers in the distance where I, I don't know that's got to be off the map maybe not but um it's just several layers of of you know just viewing off in the distance there we got some rolling hills it looks like in the in the background it just it just looks so perfect so we're gonna work in this field while we watch um those views hopefully and so we've uh well i guess to we'll, we'll do a little bit more of a recap because i finished cultivating this field right i think about when the episode stopped or maybe one of these other fields i can't remember where i left off but anyway we finished cultivating all of the fields preparing them for planting so really the only thing left to do is we got some fertilization going on here we got some bales that need picked up up at the store hopefully someone does that uh if not i'll go do that later uh, and then we, we need to take them back. I think it might be two trips with the, uh, with the truck, with that trailer. Um, if we need to, we could always get another trailer so that we don't have to, un I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, a job that needs done. We got some fertilization that needs to happen around. I, I don't know. <laughs> I know Ver Vorda he hopped in the fertilizer right there and, uh, the fertilizer tractor. He was going to continue along here. I don't know really where he left off, but. Um, I know we're, we're trying to get a layer, you know, pre-emergence herbicide down on all of the crops. So that's, that's, uh, that's something we we're going to do to, to do a fertilizer layer. And then of course we need to plant these as grass. Remember these are going to be our hay fields up here and uh, as well as 37. And then the, the rest of the fields close to home are going to be grass seed. So we still have to plant 30 with uh, grass seed, whatever hybrid we are contracted to plant. We'll have to get that done. That, that's just a little bit of role play for anybody on the server that might be listening in. The Grass Seed, uh, just in case you're confused, the Grass Seed is a script mod that we're using. And uh, yes, so that needs planted with 30. Uh, and then, of course, 29, 20, all the fields around the outside, I'm not going to list them all, need planted with wheat. So that is where we are at. And let's uh, start off planting here. Let's hop inside of our tractor just while we uh, set the end rows here. So that is, yeah, that's what we'll do. And, oh, you know what? Wait one second. I need to change, I need to change, <laughs> one second here. I'm going to uh, come back after I have finished changing my channels around because I assume it's probably the same for you. I hear, I hear Vorden in my left ear right now, which, what? <laughs> Which is wrong, so I will uh, be right back. Okay, hopefully I remember to cut that out of the beginning of the recording. If I don't, I am sorry. I was just sitting there doing nothing for a little while. But that should be significantly better. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Uh, at the very least, it affected my ears. I don't know. With my, with my audio setup here, I don't know if you heard it or not. It's... Yeah, I don't really know. But what I do know is... Uh, it sh should be a lot better in my ears. Whoops, and we just ran into a little bit of a bush, didn't we? Uh, I meant to... I thought I could just get that little corner bit done. We're going to have to, yeah. We're just going to have to back up there a little bit while we uh, while we do that. Yeah, this the cedar does need... I need to change this so that when you, uh, when you lift up this cedar by default, it does not... Um, you see how you, you see how you still see that texture there? Yeah, so it doesn't really do any good to lift up or lower this heater. We're just going to leave it lowered. Um, I guess 
for the I, I know you would probably still lift it but um for the purpose of me remembering i'm just gonna press the button to turn it on and off instead of lifting it and turning it off just because that's that's too much to remember and i am prone to uh to fail if i have to do all of that so we'll just uh pretend that didn't happen and we'll just pretend that i'm lifting it every time i turn it off how's that that's what uh you guys need to press the i believe button just because otherwise i'll probably you know because you don't normally uh turn off a mechanical drill like this you just lift it and if i lift it and turn it off then i'll probably lower it and forget to turn it back on so we're just going to only press one button if you, you followed what i'm saying then that's great if you didn't then just ignore the the last little bit here um and oh wait we forgot to look at the beautiful creek okay there we go we'll come back to the beautiful creek uh this old tractor unfortunately doesn't have gps so we just kind of got a ballpark it here and if i remember correctly i think it's if i put the the outside of the fender just on the edge of the if I put the outside fender just on the edge of that uh, stuff we've already planted, yeah, that looks pretty good. Not too much of an overlap. I don't see... There's no markers on these planters. We could really benefit from a marker since we don't have a marker. Since we don't have GPS is what I'm trying to say. But unfortunately, that's not the case on these good old tractors. However, we can go up a gear to make it go a little faster. It goes running the tractor basically max rpm before that's just not good all right so let's uh do a nice little turn here and get back on our horse and uh there we go i do like was that always an update with i thought in the past you could not see the tire tracks of another person on the map or maybe am i thinking of spin tires i i i thought that you couldn't see the tracks of another person but i mean as is a, obviously apparent you can in farming simulator because i see the tracks of Vorden spraying over there let's get a nice shot if i can remember to go straight here there we go He's uh, spraying that uh, herbicide on the field. I think we missed a little bit there. Okay, we're going to go back and get that just because. Just because. I don't want I don't want Truck to join the map. He's uh, got a, a nasty bit of OCD. So that'll make Truck mad if he, uh, if he happens to see that. Okay, there we go. So we are going back and... Yeah, I realize no, no, nobody, none of my viewers probably know what Truck is. That that was almost, that, well, it was like an inside joke for Truck, but I don't even know if Truck watches my videos, so he may not, uh, you know what, I left, there you go. See, that's why, that's why, did I even lift it up? Got a bit of an ugly curve going on there. That would also make Truck mad. Well, you guys know Truck now, so if you didn't know him before, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like Borden's having a struggle up that hill. Look at that black smoke going out of that tractor. That was crazy. All right. We are cruising along. No, I never went back up to 13. I think I can go 13 in this tractor. There we go. So let's, uh, while we are, oh, you know what? I think I've just pressed it twice. That's what happened last time. So let's go down to eight on the end row here. And let's turn it back on. Okay, so once we get going, we're gonna see where Roy went. Looks like he is seeding some grass so he's got to be just up there in one of those other fields then uh yeah he's up in 12 okay it would be fun to, uh you know what i should have started in that other field what was that 21 
30, yeah, 21. I remembered something. Oh, did we just miss a spot? I really got to do a better job not missing spots. Because, you know, truck. <laughs> no, we, uh, we, we, want to, we don't want to miss spots because we want to... Uh, we, we don't want to miss spots. Although I do think I do think I need to do a few more end rows here, so let's just uh, let's just go on around. You know what? I I should tie my button together for turning things off and raising. I should have a button for that, so it does them both. So let's do let's do a couple more end rows here on the end, make it a little bit easier to turn around. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of Roy off there to the right somewhere. He's, uh, he's quite a bit up there, if I'm not mistaken, so let's see, where would he be? Just past that, I think there's going to be trees blocking us. Oh, no, we got a glimpse of a tractor right there. There he goes. Just barely barely caught a glimpse of a Roy. Roy is a, is a very rare uh, breed of a specimen, so um, you guys should feel honored that you caught a glimpse of a Roy. There's not very many Roys around. Definitely none like that. All right, so we have uh, got to go on in here. We'll stop talking about Roy. And we do need, you know what? These, these cedars are nice for um, the size of the map and the fields that we have, but it still would be nice to look to upgrade things because if you can't ever upgrade anything, then what's the, what's the fun in that? I did see there are, I don't know, someone... I forget who you were, but someone either on YouTube or someone commented somewhere that these uh, cedars on the Farming Simulator Mod Hub are able to be attached together, like you can do in real life. But I didn't, I didn't see how to do that. So maybe I have the wrong version of the cedar. This is the only one. I believe they said that they were on the Farming Simulator uh, Mod Hub, but I did not see them. So I'm not really sure if I have the right ones that he was talking about or not, but um, these definitely don't do that. So if we do upgrade without having to go to the big bud pack, I mean, we can go to the big bud pack just for, just for fun, I guess, but I would, I would like there to be something in between. And I did see, I think it's another, is it another Lind, what is it, L Lind B J L B J Modding Lind B J. however you say his name. I think it was him that put together a, a Great Plains, well basically what I was talking about with this drill, uh, he put together a Great Plains pack that has like three seaters together, um, you know, linked together on one bar, as I've seen sometimes with uh, this John Deere pack. Uh, a little bit a little bit different. I think that's more like a solid bar where they unfold. I think John Deere pack whoops um, Doesn't unfold and it's just something you hook up together. I could be wrong on that, but uh, I don't know that would be oh man. I'm just Hitting everything when I'm using my steering wheel. Sorry if you heard me bump my mic and uh, Gave you a seizure while moving my uh, my mouse with my steering wheel there. I've got a, I don't know, I, I still don't have things perfectly how I like them uh, on this, on this setup since I've moved my office around. So maybe I'll have to move things around to give myself just a little bit more room. I, I don't know, I, I don't remember bumping my mic when I was turning my steering wheel, but I don't know. It's like the old office setup was perfect where... I was always able to have, based on uh, like the, the room that I have on, the, it's a huge wide desk. So I can have pretty much all the time my wheel set up, you know, since I don't actually use my desk for uh, desk office stuff, it's for gaming. So I, I keep my steering wheel set up pretty much all the time and my side console and my shifter uh, is pretty much always set up. And my microphone is off to the side, but just enough so that it's still loud enough and it catches my, my voice pretty good, but, um, you know, it, it's still out of the way in the old office. And here it just always seems to be getting in the way and I don't really know why. And it feels like it was closer in the other, in the other office to boot, so I don't really know what that's about. Uh, for those unfamiliar, you want your microphone as close to your mouth as possible, even 
Uh, even if it can't pick up voice from further away, it uh, well, two reasons. It's uh, it's easier to filter out the background noise the closer it is to your face, and then also the uh, you get the benefit of uh, your voice just sounds a lot more normal. Uh, you you lose a lot of bass when you move the microphone away from your mouth, and um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of part of the problem there. I am going to need some more solid fertilizer pretty soon as well. And let's see here. So at some point, we're probably going to have to stop. Wasn't there a trailer somewhere on the map that had some solid fertilizer around? I see uh, Roy's getting, uh, you know, he's going to, the, the fertilizer goes pretty quick. He's probably going to be getting low pretty soon here as well so uh perhaps we'll need someone to go get some more fertilizer as well i can buy it at the store if uh someone tells me that they are at the store so i don't know there's there's i guess there's a couple different ways we almost need a, a fertilizer tender with with how much these cedars need uh fertilizer you know that's that's another fun thing if we do something like the big 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 bud pack those things hold so much seed and fertilizer, you never have to refill. And that's that's kind of a fun thing to do on a multiplayer server. I mean, it's it, it's kind of it kind of makes me feel more at home because that's something you have to do with soybeans. It feels like every time I plant soybeans, it's like you take four passes with the planter and then you need to refill. It's so annoying in real life, but it's uh it's just one of those things that I like to be able to do in game because it makes it feel a little bit more real, especially on a multiplayer server, right? You know, I really need to be, you know what? The, I don't know. I think I also need to redo the MR file for these planters because it doesn't seem to be taking anything to pull these guys. It's like, uh, it's like they, they feel like they almost have either no weight or they're, they're not in the ground. So that's one of the, that's one of the things we need. Well, we also need, um, let's see here. Where's that trailer with, uh, maybe we should look at that. Oops, that's the horn. Uh, the trailer with seed and fertilizer. I thought it was on the edge of a field somewhere. If not, I think it's, uh, back home. I don't see it down by 51. Well, just when I looked on the mini map, I didn't see any equipment down by 51. Oh my goodness. We need to, okay. So I need to, one second here. That was a little bit too fast. Let's uh, go to more like this. There we go. Yeah, we're, uh, we're quickly going. Uh, <laughs> I'm quickly running out of fertilizer here. So, I don't know if uh, someone wants to go grab that and go bring it out. To, uh, I'll probably need it first, and then Roy, by the time I get done getting topped off, Roy will probably need fertilizer as well. I'm quickly approaching empty. Let's see if we can time it just right so uh, someone can come save me. There we go. I suppose it's probably, yeah. Generally don't want to have to plan on a curve like this, but especially with a really old, I mean, I, for, for grass, it probably doesn't matter. And the seeding population is so high, it doesn't matter. I, I know with corn and soybeans, if you have a, if you have a planter, uh, you know, an, an older planter, if you imagine yourself turning, right, the, uh, the inside wheels always turn faster than the, or the outside wheels always have to turn faster than the inside wheels. Well, it's the same, it's the same process when you plant. The planter doesn't know you're on a curve, and so uh, it thinks it's spacing every six inches, but of course, when you're doing that on a curve, the, the inside rows are going to be uh, spaced closer together, and the outside rows are going to be spaced further apart. Uh, instead, you need them at exactly six inches for... Uh, 
for, for corn, for example, for, our, for the hybrids we plant, it needs to be exactly six inches, basically. And uh, you don't want them too close and you don't want them uh, further away. So, I mean, theoretically, uh, a mechanical, a really old mechanical planter like this, yeah, it would be doing that just slightly, but I don't think it really matters for grass. I mean, for stuff like this, you can just throw the seed out there and <laughs> it's, it's, it's good enough for, uh, for all practical purposes. But I don't know, that would be interesting to know if uh, the, the modern air seeders have... I, I forget what that's called. There's a there's a term for that, but um, for being able to plant precisely and accurately on a curve, I, I know modern corn planters have that ability built in. I forget what it's called, but uh, modern corn corn planters have that built in. For soybeans, it matters, but not at near as much as for corn. And uh, I, I don't really know if it if they even bother with some technology like that for. For something like grass or wheat, I don't know if it would matter. If anybody out there is a grass or wheat farmer, let me know. <laughs> it looks like it looks like Borden's having a little bit hard, difficult time finding the seed fertilizer trailer. I thought it was left on the farm somewhere. I thought someone brought it back to the farm, but perhaps not. I don't. I don't know. That would be interesting to know where it went. And I am quickly down to, uh, I'm quickly down to 19% fertilizer. We got 163 liters left. I'm watching that tick away. Of course, with, uh, you know what? With, uh, with a planter like this, do they even have any, uh, even, even our really old, corn planter for example uh before we had like uh something like a seed since 2020 a really really old corn planter had um you know indicators when it was empty and it would beep so you knew when uh when a row was empty and we had those we had those sensors on every single row with a, with a drill like this you'd actually have to get off the planter you know you, you'd probably know from experience about when it was empty and you'd, you'd have to get off the planter and go back there and look at uh, the, the the seed and fertilizer level to know when it was really empty. Because otherwise, you would uh, you would just be running out and you would never know the difference. Unless, like I say, unless they have uh, some type of a scenting unit hooked up to these. I'm sure some of these old seeders can be retrofitted with, with something like that, but I don't know. I, I wonder how many of them were. I, I don't know. It, it's, you know, it's all one big tub like that. So depending on how evenly it feeds, it, it might not even need it. For, uh, for corn, they're, you know, like the old planters, they're all individual boxes. They're not, they're not air fed. So it's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a different process for why you would need something like that for corn. I'm sure they have them nowadays for wheat especially on the modern planners. I, and I, I really need to get track IR. This curve feels like it's getting more and more curvy every time. But of course, the field is kind of, uh, you know, both sides of the field are actually kind of, uh, the curve actually doesn't hurt us too bad because that side of the field is actually kind of on a curve anyway. So it's not actually too bad. If I was, uh... <laughs> If I planted our cornfields at this much of a curve, my brother would probably kill me. I wonder how much yield we would lose. I mean, it's 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 significant because that's at the very least your your two outside and your two inside rows would be way off. Even on a even on a smaller corn planter, it's just you would lose a lot. All right, going on. 
in. Oh, we left up a little bit early. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pretend that didn't happen, and we're gonna make another pass here. There we go. So so far, that's uh, two things that didn't happen this stream, and then one I edited out at the very beginning, but that was just my sound cables. So that wasn't really a mistake. Mistake. Um, but anyway, I am down to <laughs> 78 liters of fertilizer in my, uh, super modern, really old planter that knows the exact level of, uh, volume of fertilizer that I have inside the tank back there, which, uh, it doesn't look like it'd be that, that technical savvy, but it definitely is. We've got that much fertilizer left. Down to 66 liters. And did we just miss it? No, we didn't miss a spot. I'm too good for missing spots. Right. Watch me when I turn around that I missed that spot. And... I did not. No, I did. No, I did not. Yes, I did. Okay. So we're going to go get that one then. I did miss that spot. Even the best, it happens to the best of us. And I'm definitely not the best of us. <laughs> oh no, Borden tells me that he has the trailer, but it only has seed on it. Okay, so that is uh, bad news because that means we're going to have to go and um, wait for him to get it filled up. So, unfortunately, that's uh, a thing that we're going to have to do. And I will probably... Let's see, what can I do while I'm waiting here? Um, I suppose I could head over to the other field and plant some end rows. You know, well, you know what? Let's head over along the edge. Let's plant a little bit more of the, uh, the unpleasant stuff. That takes a little bit more time while he's uh, getting some fertilizer. And then, of course, I'm going to have to buy some fertilizer. So let's go... Let's go just do that right now. How's that sound? So let's uh, hop out of our tractor here, go on over to pallets and fertilizer. How many bags are we gonna need? So one, two, three, four. Uh, let's do six bags of fertilizer. Uh, and then also I think he needs some, oh, well, it's blocked. That's right, we can only do that many because there is hay in the way. Um, so actually, you know what, while he is doing that, I think I am going to hop into the other, um, let's see here. Where's our truck at? Let's just hop into our pickup truck and let's go bring that down because if he's bringing a front loader to the store, I might as well take this trailer down to the store as well and load up you know, the bail, since he's gonna have the front, oh wait, no, he's not gonna have bail forks though. Well, at the very least the truck will be down there. So, you know, that's, that's one step done. Step one. Actually, you know what? Is there another tractor at the, oh yeah, we can do this. Let's do this. So let's go grab our, where's our little Puma? We had the Puma somewhere. We can grab the, is that the Puma? That is the Optum, where's the Puma? Roy has the Puma. <laughs> okay, well, I was going to grab... There's not another tractor here, is there? To make things quicker and easier, yeah, there's another old case. Oh, no. Vorden has the other case. Well, okay, I guess I can't put the uh, front loader bale forks onto this trailer so that we can load bales. Well, you know what? I, the bale forks are pretty cheap. I'll just buy some when we're at the store. So I guess we can still do this plan. Uh, let's go see where other people are at on the map. And Vorden is taking that way down to the store. I'll be coming the other way since this is faster for me. And we'll actually be going right by Roy. Let's actually turn this truck to a manual. I like the manuals better. So let's go manual and auto clutch. I do actually have a clutch pedal, but I I wish if anybody knows this, I would enjoy American Truck Simulator more if 
I could use a shifter without a clutch. I don't think it lets you do that. Because... Whoops. What the... How did I go in reverse? I'm using a shifter. Oh, you know what? That button toggles reverse. Whoops. All right. So, I, I, I wish I could do... Oh, speed shift lets you do that on ATS. That is what that is. It disables the clutch. Because I, I dislocated my left knee in high school. And working a clutch is hurts my left knee it makes it really uh really painful so if there was a way that i didn't have that i could still use my h shifter but i didn't have to um use the clutch that would be that would actually make me enjoy ats more because right now i have the problem in ats where i find that i really just because of that pain i hate starting and stopping in that game and so i find myself you know, running more red lights just to avoid stopping and starting again. Cause that's like, what, like 20 different clutch presses every, every time you slow down and start and then stop again. It's, it's a lot, uh, for someone that has knee problems on only one knee. So I, I don't really enjoy ATS because of that, but that would be, that would be great. Cause it, because this game, I don't have to use the clutch. I just put the clutch on auto, and I can still use my shifter, which is nice. It's a nice shot of Roy there. Going strong. He's down to 41%. Wait, what is he? Oh. It looks like his planter, it looks like his drill was a lot wider than uh, than six meters there for a minute. It looked like he had two of them almost hooked up, but no, that's just one. All right. Whoops. Let's go over this way. Okay, so we are... Now, for anybody who uses this trailer on the server or or not, I don't know if it's just this weird combination of... Well, not weird, but... I don't know if it's this combination of this truck. You know how I have the, the dualies on the truck back there. And this trailer. They are both MR. I believe I got this MR file for the truck from Kerbo's Discord? Or maybe from the MR website. I, I think from the MR website. And then, of course, this PJ trailer I also got from the MR website as well. Um, but I can't remember if... Uh, I can't remember. All I know is that th this trailer has a little bit of a... Well, okay. It's going to have a hiccup when you run into walls. So that didn't happen. Uh, but... This trailer does have a little bit of a giddy up. It's uh, like every now and then when it's loaded full, it'll it'll bounce weird and it'll uh it'll just have this really kind of weird problem where it uh it, it 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 just like it like jumps. And if you're going more than 30, it will cause you to veer off the road and tip over and have an accident. So, if anybody drives this truck with uh Full of anything just kind of take that <laughs> under advisement and don't go over 30 really pulling a pulling a full load of bales you probably wouldn't want to go over 30 anyway i mean because then that would just be scary but um you know in real life i wouldn't want to go over 30 if i was pulling a, a huge stack of bales but anyway that's uh you know, did i hit the sign again we're just pretending a lot of stuff didn't happen here um Borden, worry. I would more worry about the uh, the fertilizer first. What I can actually do is I can simulate. Um, what we're gonna do is, yeah, you get the fertilizer because Roy's gonna run out pretty soon here, and I'm gonna actually uh, simulate a. Um, we're gonna we're gonna simulate a, uh, a a little front loader here. You know what? Maybe we should just buy one and leave it at the store. Uh, we're going to simulate that this is here and loads uh, things for people. That's what we're going to do. So with Seasons, if we just return it within half an hour, we get our full price back. So that's something that's actually very nice with Seasons. So let's just let's just do this. Let's help Vorden load up the fertilizer real quick. And then we'll load up the hay while I'm here. And we can go bring the hay back later. So let's uh, get this ready to go because we're going to have to do this fast. Otherwise, Roy is going to run empty of 
fertilizer, and that will be bad. We actually need a couple more seed as well on there, don't we? Seed is, oh boy. Well, perhaps we, uh, we can't do this. Um, I didn't think this would be so heavy. Really? It's that heavy? What's, okay. There we go. When it's more centered, we're fine. So we just gotta pull it in all the way. So we're fine like that. And when we lift up, we'll need to, we'll need to be like, okay, there we go. That's, that's good. That's good like that. There we, come on. You can do it. There we go. We got a little JCB. So we just need to pull in all the way with this, uh, with this guy. That's all we, that's what we need to do. And... I'll probably help him load this one, then I'll buy uh, another one. How much? I mean, we're almost done. No, we're not actually almost done. We got a lot of wheat to seed as well. So I'll probably do this one, and then I will put on a couple seed as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> Man, this little guy he need, really needs a back weight. I didn't remember needing a weight in the rear before with this guy. But this is, uh, come on. A little bit more. Not, not that more. Okay, that's a little bit, uh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> looks like he's having trouble too. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, get off the forks. Get, get off the forks. You know what? We're gonna have to do, I guess that, um, so that we. Oh my goodness! Come on, come on, get no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does that happen? Oh my goodness! This is just not going well. I I know it helps if you don't put it on the forks all the way, but with this guy, I actually have to. Oh no! That other one's gonna go. This is just turning into be a nightmare. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go fix this one on the back before it falls off. And well, maybe we're gonna go nudge it. Come on, we can nudge this. Okay, we can. Okay, come on, come on, we can do it. We can. We. Can. Okay, well, that didn't work out exactly as <laughs> I planned. Oh, board's having some difficulties. Okay, there we go. We got that one on now. Born is on. Yeah, let's try to ram this to tip it over. Here we go. So this is a fun little adventure. Or maybe not so fun. Just got to tip it on over. And come on. Come on, little guy. You know what? Maybe I should just give up and go do bales. <laughs> we'll leave, leave Borden with this mess. Why? Yeah, I think Vorden's going to have to flip that over. He's, he's got longer arms to be able to do this. I don't. Although, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Now just let me uh, get that out of the way for uh, him so he can get on there. And... There we go. Let's try it. Yeah, like... See, that's the problem. If I could... If I had enough weight in the back to just barely put it on the forks, that seems to work better for undoing the thing. But I just don't have enough weight in the back to do that. So we're going to let Vorden do that. He's got more weight on his tractor. And I'm going to buy, I think, one more seed bag. No, two. Uh, we'll buy two more seed bags. And I think these are a little bit lighter. I should be able to, should be able to get it, I think. Let's go find out. You know, I did I did this before, and I actually used the tracked uh, little skid steer. So I don't know if that one is just a lot easier to, if that one has a lot more weight on the back or what. But so let's uh, let's see here how this works. Yeah, see, this is just not as heavy. So I think what the problem is that's the fertilizer is a lot heavier than I was uh, expecting. So I'll get that other seed one too. Since oh goodness. <laughs> 
Oh, man. <laughs> this is always the most fun in the game. I actually really enjoy doing this with uh, Bales. Uh, pallets are fun, but... Yeah. It's really just the unsticking part that I... But I don't like it. Yeah, see? Sometimes they work great. Other times they don't. Putting the forks in them when they're on the when, uh, when they're on the floor like that is relatively easy. As long as they uh Let's see. How much more can we get here on this guy? Can I go You think I can go up too high? These don't really look like they're made for too high. But this is lighter. I think we can do that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put a safety strap on on that one there because we don't want that to fall off. And Warden's got the last fertilizer, uh, I hope. You know what? To, to, to minimize this pain again, let's do, let's do two more fertilizers. I think we can do two more. I'll go get one of them. You can get one more of them. And then we will, uh, we can do this. We can do this. The first one came off okay. Let's just hope that second one was a glitch. And it's not that much of a pain when you get it on all the way. So we can do, yeah, we, there's enough room for two more on there. So I am going to have to put mine on the edge, I think. And I'm just going to have to rely on him to push it back because... Otherwise, I will not be able to get this off. I, mine just doesn't go very far. Oh, I guess it does. There we go. That works. Okay, so... And then come off cleanly, and it came off cleanly. Okay, so it looks like that second one was just a glitch. That wasn't too bad. So let's uh, go back over and sell these pallet forks. He can... Uh, hope, oh, whoa. Um... <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, Borden. <laughs> oh, man. I did not see this fertilizer over on the backside. I didn't even know that the, the, you could buy vehicles over on this backside. That is uh, a lot. Uh, looks like we have a lot more fertilizer and seed to spare. We have a lot of that. Um, but we're going to worry about that another time because his trailer's full. Uh, I am going to get the bale fork and um, do we have raft bale handler, handler. No. Okay. So we're going to probably just pretend like we have uh, something with raft bale handlers. And well, you know what? We're going to, we don't have to pretend. We can just say the, the stylish bales we stab uh, with the forks. Um, we're either going to put tape over them and uh, make them last, or we can say that we're just going to use them right away. So, uh, I think from people I've talked to, you have uh, like maybe one or two days before the the silage goes bad. If if it gets uh, if it gets air in there, if it gets a hole in the wrapped bale, so we got a few days left to use these. And why that works before? not working now yeah okay we looks like we can't do it anyway no we can do it we can do this we can't do this we can do it we can't do that nope that's not gonna work for salvage bales it looks like uh, one at a time and let's do let's do them down here All right. There we go. So that covers one silage bale. And we got a second silage bale. I know this doesn't look quite as pretty when I'm using the mouse and keyboard, but I it's just muscle memory for me. I can't stand using a steering wheel when I'm stacking bales. I have heard people that say wheels and uh if you have two joysticks for these things they work really really well especially like the uh the logging but i just i don't know 
I, part of it is I don't want to take the time to learn because I already know this. I don't want to have to learn something else. I'm sure once you get that down, then the muscle memory on that is, is pretty good as well. But Okay, so let's do over here. And let's go around to the other side and move that other bale, actually, because I want that stacked to the rear as much as possible. Okay. There we go. So we're going to... We're going to get that other one back. And you know what? Since Borden's going to be AFK for a little bit, I think I will go and... Yep, Roy is basically empty. So I'm going to go help out Roy then real quick. And to make sure I don't forget, we're going to just... Well, it's just kind of a shame having this... You know what? I think I will just keep this here. We'll just, I'll just credit the bank... Um, the proper amount. We'll just keep a skid steer. Maybe we'll just buy a front loader tractor and we'll keep it at the store. We'll say that it's the store's responsibility. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll credit our money back because I don't know what store doesn't load up, uh, stuff on a trailer for you. So we're gonna, we're gonna hop back to the, uh, the tractor here and let's see. So we got all the straps done. And we are in, let's see, does he have, yep, he uses, okay, there we go. So we're going to do this then. So let's uh, start a tractor back up. And we have someone joining in. So I'm going to go feed up Roy with, uh, um, what am I trying to say? I'm not feed him. I, <laughs> I'm going to, oh, I'm going to feed his cedar and uh, we're going to do that. Um, looks like we just had, uh, someone join, so Dylan could possibly finish the bales that I am doing. I don't know if, uh, if everybody would like to use the JCB, I feel like that's a little bit more realistic for a place like this to have than a, than a front-loading tractor. Um, we could figure out what we want the store to have as a collective group what people would use and then as long as we keep it at the store we will basically say that uh the store is going to um own that and let's see yeah there we go uh we can just say that the store is the proud owner of whatever we buy and keep it at the store and then just only use it when we go to the store i i'm i'm, I'm okay with that i don't really like the feeling of always having to drive a front loader tractor to the store That doesn't feel right to me. And we are going max speed with this tractor. So let's actually, if I do this right, don't want to, uh, there we go. That lets us see a little bit easier. So we'll have to pull in the field up here where we are at. Uh, I'm on my way to Roy. I think he's, let's see, where is he at in the field? He is... Uh, field 21, so we already got done with 12, so let's see, where's the best way in? I guess through, I don't think there was a way in through 13. We'll just keep the mini map up there while we decide where we're going. Um, I probably don't want to run all this weight across a field that's already been planted if I can avoid it, so I will probably look to drive along the grass and then maybe only drive along the end rows. Uh, so if Roy could, oh, sorry, I bumped my mic again. Uh, if Roy could meet me maybe along the end rows of that field, uh, that he is in now, that might work the best. So let's, uh, downshift here a little bit. And I think we can probably make our way along, let's see, which grass path looks a little better. We'll make our way along the grass here, I think, will be a little bit, well, Yeah. I want to avoid the field. Um, I guess this this path will be fine. So let's just uh, let's just motor along over here and hope that we don't tip ourselves over. <laughs> let's zoom out so we can get a little bit of uh, a nice view of the area. Oh boy, got to shift to a lower gear, going up a slight hill here. That's a nice little fence. Oh, is that someone's yard? Oh, that is someone's yard. 
I wonder where where's my house at? For those that don't know, Bulletville did a nice job saying thanks to the testers and a few people that he liked, uh, like me. I don't know wh why I was deserving of it, but uh, my name is on a mailbox on this map somewhere. And um, unfortunately, Giant said that he had to take those off. So he had to edit the map and take those off, but... Um, I kept the version with the names on the mailboxes because I want my name I want my name on a mailbox and I also like seeing all the names of the testers there as well so uh, this is actually pretty uh, this is fairly perfect we got enough room to turn around on to without driving on the field uh, so I like that I like that that's a pretty good spot so he will uh, doesn't look like he needs topped off on seed let's just look at the uh, the back one there let's just undo that one too just so it doesn't catch and here we go so let's go back and get that little box and we'll probably actually you know what if uh while i'm doing this if roy could actually grab my other tractor and bring it right over to here so that way i don't have to drive across the uh the dirt field and you know all the all the way over to where my tractor's at that would be actually great because I think I will need some uh, seed as well so actually you know what should have undone, undone this other strap as well there we go <laughs> that's Roy off running to, to my tractor <laughs> oh he looks so sad <laughs> uh, we can uh, we can turn off our beacon and hazards now that we are off the road Let's uh, flip that back a little bit, bring it a little bit closer to the center of mass, and there we go. So let's uh, load it on up. There's the fertilizer there in the back. That's very nice how that fill plane looks. And uh, you know what? It even that's kind of cool. It takes it from the center. <laughs> I don't I don't know if they did that modeling on purpose, but that that looks realistic the way that 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 texture is so it looks like dylan is on his way over with the other cedar so we will actually just back on up and let's see can uh i can actually if he just pulls right there roy doesn't even have to move i can just come around to the side and if he just pulls a little bit further i think and oh that's a tree okay can't go through the branches there we're gonna lose our thing don't want to lose the thing okay there we go and he's got 57 percent seed he should be fine for a little while i don't want to mess with the uh with the seed because i'll not be able to empty a full one and that will mean putting it back on the cart and i don't want to have to do that so that's only a little bit i gotta go get another fertilizer tank so let me go do that real quick and then those guys will be off and there we go so we've got that going in there and yeah i think i'll leave the fertilizer there at the store because i think borden was um saying that his sprayer was actually pretty low so he'll just go use some of that um when he gets back there with his uh with the sprayer from the store so i could go back there to help him uh top off his sprayer spreader as well let's uh get on back there this is one of the things that i just I, I like looking at it visually and not only this you know perspective and depth perception hard from inside the cab i just think it looks uh pretty and fun and i like looking at the outside view whenever i whenever i do this kind of thing so um there we go a little bit more there we go and there we go we are good to go uh and yeah dylan if you want to go ahead and uh keep uh planting grass be my guest i think that this episode is running on to about its limit this is about uh about the right length for uh for a youtube episode and it's also about all the time that uh i told my wife i would spend making one so i'm trying to my best to not be a liar and i'm gonna go spend some time with her 
And I hope you all had a happy 4th of July. Um, it's actually uh, Independence Day right now, uh, for those that uh, celebrate it here in America. I know I have a, a worldwide view audience, and I don't think, uh, yeah, pretty much, I don't think anybody else would have a reason to celebrate Independence Day unless, uh, I mean, you know, I guess, I guess you could say France and uh, the UK might be happy that we had our independence because... Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to help bail them out during World War II if, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Anyway, they probably don't. That was a, that was a bad joke, but I will see you all later. And, um, right. Well, I think that just about does it. We will probably, uh, I don't know when the next time you will see me. I'll probably try to show off some more of these other fields, uh, planting wheat around the outside. We've, we've been, we've done a couple episodes now in this valley, and it just looks, this little valley area is amazing. This valley is awesome. So, I, uh, I don't know where we'll be when you next check in. We'll probably still be planting some wheat. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot of wheat fields to plant, uh, and these planters are, yeah, they're six meters wide, but that's still... You know, it, it'll take a little while to cover the rest of the field. So, uh, we're gonna... Yeah, like I said, it'll still probably be spring when you see us next. I don't really know <laughs> what we're gonna be doing, whatever the farm needs. But, it'll probably be either, I'm guessing, either wheat or it might be doing a little bit of grass work uh, for the cows. I, I don't really know if we'll get that far. I know these fields will probably not be ready for grass work. However, field, uh, what is that, 37. Hopefully, uh, Vorden remembered to spray that one with fertilizer. Uh, but field, what is that, 37. Yeah, th 37 is grass. That one we could actually do a little bit of early bale and silage work. So we hopefully can stop buying from the, uh, from the store at that point. I'm probably going to move this trailer. See, where am I going to guess they're going to need it next? They will probably need a refill of fertilizer. Uh, well, definitely over by like 15 and 41 and 26. But I'm guessing they'll probably stay over here and do 1, 8, 18, 20, 29 first. So we're going to go up to kind of field 1. And we'll park the, the refill trailer up there. And I'm assuming that's probably where we'll need it next. So we're going to we're gonna just leave it up there. And... Let's see, what else is there to do or say? I'm not really sure what else there is to say. Oh, wait, did I forget the... Uh... Yeah, that's kind of strapped down. It's <laughs> just, just barely the edges there. I don't know. Hopefully that's enough to keep it on the, the trailer there. But anyway, I will see you all later. Well, let's just drive up there to one. I don't think I've really seen field one just yet. So let's... Let's drive up there and get a good look at field one. And chugging along. This track, I really like. These tractors are a really, really nice pack. Uh, was it Matt XGS, I believe? Is the right way to say that? Right? Matt, Matty? Is it Matty or Matt? I think it's... I forget what his handle is, but uh, the, the, the guy who made this pack is really did a really, really fine job. Man, that just looks... That's one of the corners right there. Like, I get deja vu on that corner. It looks like, well, not necessarily the distance, but the curve going into just the slight hill, that looks like a place in Tazewell County uh, down by the Mackinac River. It just, I don't know. Bull Bill did an excellent job on this map. That looks like it's somebody else's home. Otherwise, I think we'd pull in there. So, you know what? Let's actually, huh. I think if we pull in there off to the side of the road that will probably be okay uh, you know kind of off the side on the field there i think that'll be pretty good so let's do that wait unless is this where's my where's my mailbox is this my mailbox this is my mailbox well actually technically the mailbox on the right would be is that back to a house? No, that looks like a forest trail. Typically when you see double mailboxes like that, there's two houses back there and 
Uh, the one on the right would be mine. So I don't know. Well, you know what? I live here. So <laughs> regardless, we can say that we're going to use this. Uh, it's plenty wide. We're just going to park off to the side of the road here. And this will be a great spot to leave the seed and fertilizer trailer. So uh, there we go. Until next time, guys. I will see you all later. I thank you all for stopping by and checking this episode out. And, uh, yeah, do the old normal YouTube stuff. Click, comment, whatever. Do whatever feels good. And I will see you all later. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the views. And, oh, one last thing, in case you were wondering. Uh, I, know, I know I said that the Grass Seed mod might be publicly available. Well, basically what happened is... Um, the guy who modified the script to make it global and also uh, changed a few things. Um, he uh, he contacted Modding Welt and Modding Welt said no, they want to keep it private. So um, unfortunately, they shot him down uh, at his uh, attempt to making the script better and more realistic for this area of the map. So unfortunately, right now, the only thing I can say, uh, if you guys want to play with the Grass Seed mod, um, unfortunately, you have to download i'll try to find the link but you have to download a, a combine a class combine uh <laughs> that has the script attached and you can only use the grass seed harvesting in that combine and you harvest the grass directly with that combine there's no in between mowing like is realistic in this area so um unfortunately that's all i can tell you guys for now because that's what modding welt has said and they're the ones who originally made that script so Aiden is respecting their wishes to keep it private. And I think uh, <laughs> I'll try not to go off and do an opinion on that. But that is the fact of the matter for now. So I apologize for saying that uh, we might eventually be able to make that public because we cannot. So that's uh, the end of this episode. I thank you everybody for stopping by. Don't forget to stop by on farmingsimulator.com, the mod hub, official mod hub. Don't download this beautiful map from one of those other websites that try to get you viruses. Uh, I'm sure the Sam would definitely appreciate the extra download that you give them from downloading it on the official mod hub. And don't forget to rate it five stars. I hope you all agree that this map is worth uh, five stars. And uh, I will see you all later on the next episode. So until then, uh, goodbye, and I'll see you all later. Hope you all had a great day. Whatever today, whatever yesterday was, whatever, well, today is Independence Day. Whatever today was, whenever you're watching this episode, I hope that that was a great day for you. Um, yes, if that makes sense, I will see you all later.